Welcome back to K Nation. K State coaches have really proven to be some home run hires lately. Mm -hmm. Coach Kleiman in football, Tang in men's basketball so far, and Mitty with women's. Yeah, Mitty doing well. They're all three of those guys are doing well. Tang so, so new, but you have to think he's off to a great start. I sat yeah. down with the man behind those hires, K State Athletic Director Gene Taylor, to talk about the decision to take a chance on Chris Kleiman and, of course, that Big 12 championship. All right, well, you guys have a new trophy downstairs. How excited are you about the new hardware that's here in Veneer Football Family Complex? Man, I'm so excited. I walked in today. I've been gone a few days, and I tell you, seeing that trophy there just, uh, just makes you feel really good and about everything, about how they played the game and the fact that they were able to get a win uh, and the fact we're Big 12 champs. That's, that's, that's very cool. I got some maybe not so breaking news. I think you may have nailed the hire with Chris Kleiman. You think so? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I, I felt it was going to be a, a good hire. I thought it was going to be a good fit. And he's built upon the culture that the Coach Schneider has put together and, and brought it to his level, the level that he wants it to be. And, and it, it was very evident all year long. And it was clearly evident on, on, on Saturday against TCU. When you were looking for a, a head coach to replace Bill Snyder, you knew that was going to be a tough task, right? right. What was it about Coach Kleiman that you said he's the, he's the man for the job? Well, obviously I mentioned I, I knew him, right? Mm -hmm. and, and I knew who he is as a person. I knew the standard in which the fans were going to have there at North Dakota State. It wasn't going to be measured in you know, just getting into the playoffs. It was going to be measured in winning national championships, and he was able to do that. And I knew that he could understand the gravity of taking over for mm -hmm. Bill Snyder. Um, I told him, I said, you drive in Bill Snyder Family, Bill Snyder Highway, you walk into Bill Snyder Family Stadium, his statue's out there, you have to understand what you're walking into, and I think he understood it, he respected it, had a lot of respect for Coach Snyder and was able to build around that and then built ultimately his, his kind of football team. Mm, you know, I know you were doing some college football playoff stuff, so you weren't able to be in AT&T Stadium <laughs> for the game. What was the moment? Were you yelling at the TV? Were you jumping up and down? Were we yeah. waking people up in the hotel or what? <laughs> well, pretty much. <laughs> because of the committee, they actually want us to stay together and watch right. the game so we can talk about it. Um, because of what time we played, there were no other major games uh, on at that time. So I asked our director, Bill Hancock, if I could go to my room because I know how I am right, when right. I watch football. Uh, so I got a little emotional, got a little carried away when uh, Max Duggan made that big run and yeah. he kicked that field goal. So I was jumping up and down on the room by myself, <laughs> high five of myself, but it was pretty cool. Yeah, that's awesome. Did you, did you, I got to know, did you throw out when they put TCU in the playoff where you're like, hey, there's a team that just beat them, you know. You didn't throw that out there at all, but you tried, no, to, tried to get it. We, we just got to figure out the best right, teams. Right. And then when they talk about K-State, of course, as you know, I'm out of the room, so I don't even get to okay. talk about ourselves. But uh, there was a lot of respect for K-State right. all year long uh, in the CFP selection process, and there was a ton of respect for TCU. And I think that's why they're able to stay at third and, and make the playoffs. Have you put a lot of thought into the impact that a season like this could have? A Big 12 championship, you play Alabama in a bowl game. I mean, this could have, you know, a long-lasting impact, probably even beyond the football program. Well, clearly, anytime football has success, it, it drives energy on our campus, and it, it has a tendency to carry over to the winter sports. And I don't know that I've actually thought about the gravity yet. I just know that, you know, being in the Sugar Bowl for the first time, being a Big 12 champion, that alone is big, mm -hmm. and then uh, you know whether we can take that and, and, pl and play against an Alabama and beat them could really ma have major impacts on, on, on our program for a while. It seems like every time there's a head coaching job in the SEC or the Big Ten, <laughs> every fan base says, I think we're going to get Chris Kleiman. But every time you ask Chris Kleiman, he says, I'm loyal to Gene Taylor. He even, he'll bring up your name. What does that loyalty mean to you that he says, you took a chance on him and he's going he's gonna to stay here with you? Well, what's, what's cool about it is we're friends. We trust one another. We know that we have similar alignment and what we want in our football program. We really believe in one another and trust each other and, and that's a it's a cool relationship to have, particularly for a visibility for like a head football coach as he is. Mm, and you know what fans out there are thinking, you just want a Big Twelve championship contract <laughs> extension. Is that is that in the works? Can you give me anything there? Well, I can't give you anything yet, but obviously <laughs> we want to make sure we can do everything we can to keep him. And it's you know it's a balancing act and, and certainly, you know, he just got extended last year. He's got mm. some language for an automatic extension, but I'm guessing at some point that, that, that discussion will happen. But the good news about Chris is that's the last thing on his mind. Right. He wants to focus on you know, getting ready for Alabama. Recruiting right now is big because of the transfer portal. Mm -hmm. So he's got other things, but at some point we'll sit down and we'll see where that conversation goes. you got the basketball team playing well, men's and women's basketball. Is this, just, this is just an exciting time for <laughs> K-State athletics, isn't it? It's fun. It's, I think it's fun for all of us. Uh, it's great to see Coach Tang come in and, and have some early success with, you know, have to kind of rebuild. 
Obviously, Coach Mitty's got a, you know lost one of his best players to an injury this year, and, and they've still managed to find a way to win differently, but they're winning. And so there's a lot of energy right now amongst our programs, and that's, that's exciting for all of us, exciting for the players, exciting for the coaches, and more so exciting for our fan base. And exciting for the media, too. <laughs> <All right. laughs> hey, good. Gene, thanks so much for your time, man. I appreciate, appreciate it. it. Thank yeah. you very much.